Hey guys, welcome back to my mess and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about beads and plugs. And what happens to beads when you get a new set of plugs? Welding beads and back purging plugs. If you're familiar with welding, you know that back purging plugs or caps or those kits can be quite expensive. What if I told you you could make these at home for like 10 bucks for a pair instead of a hundred? See, that's pretty good. Probably worth sticking around for. Let's get into the video. But as you can see, the mess is accumulating and it's not, it's not good. So I'm due for a big cleanup, which I'll get to soon. If you're familiar with TIG welding, you know that everybody talks about, oh, back purge, back purge, back purge, back purge, back purge. Everyone's back purging. And in order to do that, people used to roll up like tin foil balls and shove them in the tube to keep the argon from just flowing through the tube, be able to fill and evacuate the oxygen inside the tube. That way, when you weld, your weld joint on the inside doesn't have the sugaring or crystallization or oxide, whatever you want to call it, on the inside of the tube. It's nice and smooth. There's no cleanup and effectively in the end you have a stronger weld joint. So that's very important. When doing that, say I wanted to weld a straight piece of tube to this, right? So you could tack the tube. Usually I just like flash the, like a little tack so it doesn't have full penetration, but just enough to hold the next piece on to this tube. Uh, then you're going to have to plug the end of this cone and you're going to have to plug the end of your tube, which would be on this side of the cone. If you're using tin foil, usually I would do like tin foil, then I'd wrap it with like electrical tape. But when the heat comes into play, the electrical tape can get hot. It can start to stretch. If you move your piece too much, your hose that goes, excuse me, their hose that goes into your tin foil end, like the fill end and rip the tin foil. If you move it weird, you could rip the tin foil. Like tin foil is just, it's, it's tin foil. Like use it for cooking and that's it. It works for purging and all that stuff, but it does make for a challenge in itself. Also the time spent, you know, um, fi filling the holes with the tin foil and covering them up. It's not ideal when you're, you're trying to get something done. So uh, what I looked into was these uh, back purging plug kits that you can buy. They are expensive. So I stumbled across a guy, Frenchy Fab, on YouTube. I can link his channel below. And he had put in that, hey, I found, you know, kind of a DIY back purging setup on the cheap. So I looked into it and uh, I'm going to show you right now. So here we are. These are from High Temp Masking Supply. Now, these are a high temperature silicone plug, very similar to what you'd see in a, a purging kit. They're rated to resist heat up to 600 degrees, which is good. Now, what I've done is I've drilled out a hole and I had a couple, got a couple barbed fittings, threw them in there. That's going to be my inlet. So, you know, essentially when I have my tube that I want to purge, this goes whoop, stick it in there and she's golden pony boy. So then you can put your other purge plug on the other end of it and weld your tube way, way better than dealing with tin foil and all that. And uh, you know, they stay in there. Um, one thing you also want to have is a hole in your capped, in one of your capped, essentially the highest point your cap plugs or whatever you want to call them. You want to have a hole in it so it can vent. So I'm going to order what he showed in his video, Frenchy Fab. Um, it's like a sintered brass filter that they use for like mufflers for air tools or uh, air compressors or any of that stuff. So they're pretty cheap on Amazon. I can put a link below for the uh, mufflers. And yeah, so basically the purge plugs that you can buy through companies who supply welding stuff um, for two plugs, basically this, they're about $100 for two. Now, if you're welding an exhaust system or an X-pipe or something, you'll, you're going to need more than two of these because you've got four holes, right? Or maybe more. These are a five-pack. And this five-pack here was 25 bucks. So even if they don't last as long, which I think they will, unless you're really close, like, you know, for flanges and stuff, they might be a little tight, but, uh, they're going to do the trick and I couldn't be happier 
with the price. So I got some for two and a half uh, inch tubing, and then I also got some for three inch tubing. I did the same thing with the little barbed fitting. That way you just plug your line in and forget about it. Well, something I'll likely do in the future just to kind of uh, prolong the life of these things is I think I'm going to set up like a quick disconnect fitting on here. You can get them on uh, Amazon for like an argon hose, quick disconnect, or even like you could use anything, like airbrush, quick disconnect, or any of that stuff would work. Uh, that way, instead of using this barbed fitting and pulling the line off and putting it on over time, obviously the line is going to get worn out. And then obviously pulling on this, it probably isn't the greatest. Um, but if I had a quick disconnect on each one, I just easy peasy. Um, so I think I'm going to do that. They're like 10 to 15 bucks for the fitting. It's not a big deal. Uh, still leaps and bounds. Uh, cheaper than buying the uh, brand name purge plug. So uh, I hope you guys find this video and, and stuff helpful. I really like sharing what I stumble across, even though I cannot take credit for this setup because this is totally Frenchy Fab on YouTube who discovered this. I don't know if he discovered it, but that's how I found out about it. And uh, High Temp Masking Supply Company. Uh, and these guys like I ordered these and they were here within like a couple days from the States to Canada. Like it was really, really quick and uh, super nice stuff. So if you found it helpful, please subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot. Share it with a friend, share it with your welding buddies um, and uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you actually think. Do you think it's going to last as long? And do you think there are major downfalls to doing it this way uh, versus a brand name plug kit? Obviously, the brand name ones, are they have a, a few nice little features on them. Like, they have a diffuser on the inside here to let the gas in um, smoothly so there's no, like, turbulence or whatever. They also have, like, a titanium tube that goes in, not brass, because, you know, this is just some lower class stuff. And they have a nice little handle or a little uh, kind of thing that comes up to a point here so you can pull it out of the tube, which... All those features are really nice, and trust me, if I could afford to get them, I would I would like the brand name ones. Uh, but for right now, I think these will do the trick just fine, and I was able to get you know five times the amount um, for the price of just two plugs. So I really think that there's great value in this, and not only saving the money, but like, now, moving forward, saving the time, the setup with the tinfoil stuff and whatever, and it's just, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to get, get using these things. They just showed up, so haven't had a chance to use them yet, but I see uh, the, as far as the fitment goes, there's no problems with that. They fit perfect. They have a solid and a hollow style plug on their site. I got the hollow style one because I figured just a little more flex to get it in the hole. And then I noticed you can actually buy the stainless steel mesh that fits in these holes on Amazon. Uh, so, you know, you could really set yourself up to have a great setup with these as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you might think otherwise, please let me know what you think the downfalls are and or if there even are any. But uh, I really love finding more economical ways of doing stuff. And I think for, for this, uh, this is right in that realm. So, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Um, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.